In this work, we consider the problem of next best view planning for volumetric reconstruction of an unknown object. A 3D sensor mounted on a mobile robot is iteratively placed in poses determined by our algorithm in order to construct a complete model of the object. We run the algorithm in real-world experiments and in simulation. The only assumptions made by our algorithm are that we have an upper bound for the size of the object, for example a 1 meter cube, and that the object of interest is initially in front of the robot. The robot has no prior information about the actual size, color, or structure of the object within the bounded volume. We sample a discrete set of candidate views from the positions that the robot can reach, forming the robot's view space. Using a probabilistic volumetric map that is built in real time, the robot can quantify the expected information gain from this set of candidate views. This volumetric map is used for view planning, while the dense point cloud is the resulting 3D model. At each iteration, the robot computes the expected information gain for the candidate views and chooses the one that provides the most information. The expected information gain is determined by the way that information is quantified within the volumetric map. We propose and evaluate several formulations to quantify this information gain with respect to the 3D reconstruction task. Please see the accompanying paper for details. We also release our modular framework for active reconstruction as an open source ROS compatible software package. We applied our general object reconstruction pipeline to the problem of active surface reconstruction from a flying robot. We again assume that we know only the bounds of the map and nothing about the structure of the environment. Our quad rotor builds an elevation map using monocular dense depth estimation from a downlooking camera. We estimate the information gain for a set of candidate views of the surface using an entropy based formulation for information. For the next best view, we choose the one that optimizes both the information gain and the movement cost. The reconstruction ends when we have reduced the average uncertainty in the map below a user-defined threshold. Performing surface reconstruction in an active way produces a complete map more efficiently than following a predefined set of views. Please see our website for more information.